Thank you kids for being so nice to me. It is Saturday morning and I am already pooped. I'm already flipping pooped. And I told Olivia I was recording and I can hear that she has the like softer damper pedal on on the piano. <sighs> okay, maybe I shouldn't sit here and complain about my kids then. So it's Saturday morning, it's like 10 o'clock and I'm already just dead. I could hear the, so I got up. Let the kids take a bath bomb. Okay, let's start there. I let the kids use a bath bomb. And the ones that I have been liking more than Lush. So you guys know I've always been a Lush fan. Oh my gosh, they're gone. They're all gone. I was going to show you. Damn it! Oh, I have one right here. <laughs> yes, my cupboards are so organized and clean. And I have so much space for everything. And I'm just like really organized. So follow me for more organizational tips because goals, right? <laughs> There is a company that's called Musi, and if you follow me on Instagram, I've shown it there. They have these bath bombs, and they call them B-A-L-M, bath bombs, not bath bombs, B-O-M-B-S. They're more soothing for the skin. They have better ingredients in them than like Lush, and I just like love, I like supporting smaller companies versus like big companies like Lush. Sometimes, I mean, it kind of just depends, but anyway. My kids each took a bath, uh, bath with a bath bomb this morning just put this right back where it goes um <laughs> and so i was like being nice like that was a nice thing that was a really nice thing for me to do for them olivia was making pancakes and it was glorious and she even cleaned up after herself she brought the kids in some pancakes Go watch my stories if you don't i could hear the kids in here playing with something and i said hey guys whatever you're playing with like stop like i can hear it banging around in there and of course they didn't listen they just continued to do it i think i mentioned it again I was like guys stop whatever you're doing well they had the mirror and they were banging it around in the tub I think some of these will come out like they're just scuffs but some of them are straight up scratches that won't come out oh you should try this you should try that no if a tub gets scratched I mean it's just there it just makes me so mad and I was so irritated and then I was like okay let's turn some music on and then everyone's fighting over the music and so it was glorious when the music was on and we were playing that was really fun but then they all started fighting and so I said all right let's get to work like if you guys are gonna fight the solution is working so that's what the morning is gonna be that's why the kids are on the piano so the kids are in the kitchen doing dishes and sometimes I just get real frustrated and I try not to but I just do. You look nice mom. Thank you. The chaos has ended but I made each kid follow me through the house and I would assign them each to do things. They helped me make my bed. They helped me get things picked up. They helped me wipe up their mess from the bathroom. Got the garbage taken out. I had one of the kids put all the shoes away at the door and then I had, you saw the kids doing the dishes. And so now the house feels pretty good and I'm kicking everyone out. <laughs> so I said, everybody outside, nobody is allowed in the house at this point. It's a little chilly still, it's a little chilly. Why do you guys insist on climbing? What are you guys wanting over here? We're just gonna climb over the fence, play back here. Okay, you don't need to play back there. Come on out, come on out. I've asked you guys not to climb on top of the shed. I've asked you guys not to climb over this gate. You never said that. I did. To you. Wait. Maybe not to you, so I'm officially telling you. Ugh. I brought sunblock out. Come here, kids. Step one, cover the eyes, spray the forehead. And then spray your fingers. And I don't know why I like the spray so much better. It's all personal. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. It's just personal preference. I just love the spray so much better. And I just, I don't know. I just do, okay? Get the back of the neck, the ears especially. And we'll just do a little bit of that. Okay, come here please. Oh my word, that is the little... 
funny. <laughs> She's yeah, like, I don't know what's that. happening, but you know, it's she fine. She doesn't like it when I do it. <laughs> She's like, Did you hurt your knee? Let me see. Let me see. Did you hurt your elbow too? Hey, no blood. That was fast. He said, Mom, record me while I go off of this. That was pretty cool. <laughs> he almost lost it. <laughs> By the way, I made this thing if you were asking where you got it. Olivia made it. I'm watching, Link. <laughs> These kids are, their fighting is making me wild. This is the first time that we're coming out into town. We just parked in front of this little area and I have to show you these signs because I'm just oogling over them. They're so cute. Aren't those so dainty and I sweet? I love her hair. But that's what I was gonna say. I had to come over because I had to take a look at her hair. <gasps> that's so cute. Which obviously this business, I don't even know what business this is, but they are completely closed still, but Guys, this is very monumental. We are coming into town for the first time since quarantine. Now, I do have to say this because so many places are still quarantined. We were given, what, is it by state or is it by? It's by state. And? And Utah is, is loosened up on the quarantine. We're on a different, we're not, I can't remember if it's yellow or red quarantine status now. Oh no, red is, is like house quarantine. And then whatever the breakdown is, but we're on a lower quarantine. So the restaurants, right now. they are. There's a few in our city that have opened up. A lot of businesses are still shut down, but the one that's open, we're going into this place, and we're not going to touch anything. We're going to keep our distance from other people. But this is the first time we're bringing the kids into town, guys. This is such a big moment. I. Why do I feel like? I mean, it is a big deal. We have been cooped up for a very long time. I get DMs from you guys all around the world and it feels different because I know we're all in the same boat, but I feel like we definitely don't have it as hard as you guys. I was feeling a lot of pressure because there were so many people around me and by so many, I mean like two people. <laughs> and I was like feeling flustered because I was really worried that I was saying the wrong things. <laughs> I guess I don't want it to come across that I I think that we've had we've had it so hard when I know so many other people mm -hmm. have had it way worse. Oh, yeah. And I know that people are still still in the thick of it. Yep. And we are just in an area where it isn't as like we're seeing drastic decline in numbers and so that's why they've opened up. It's a soft opening and not a lot of people are out. Like the places that we're in are still very empty. And I feel weird, but it also feels really good. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I feel like I'm going to be judged so hardcore. But if that, but if the officials are saying we're okay, then I know we're okay, and yep. we're just doing we're our keeping thing. Keeping our distance. Mm -hmm. It's a weird time. <laughs> it is. It is. And because I'm laughing doesn't mean I'm not taking it serious. I just laugh when I get uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys know this about me. This is nothing new. This is not shocking. Funny last at inopportune times. <laughs> Made Joel stop what he was doing for a minute. We, he's taking the power wash and cleaning off the pergola. So pergola. I wish that, pergola. That was a big debate when we first got this. <laughs> from people from other countries. Well, you're never gonna be able to see. Basically, it's really dirty. It's filthy. It's filthy, and he's taking the power washer and washing it. Just for my satisfaction's sake, will you just wash these like circles off the patio? <laughs> oh, that brings me so much joy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what's this chair doing here? Oh, well, it's really a one person job, so. I'm just supervising. <laughs> Olivia and Cody, you go shower, get your rooms clean like I said. For now, you two are gonna sit right there. I am so beyond frustrated and mad right now. It's like, where do I even begin? I'm trying to think. My younger two are not listening and doing what they're told. And I'm trying to be as patient 
as I can. I'm trying to be as strict as I think I should be. I told the younger two they could ride their block, ride their bikes around just our block. And we were outside, so we were watching them. And I couldn't find them, couldn't find them. I was wondering where they were. The older two were on a little bike ride. They came back and I said, you two go around the block and see if you can find the younger two. They did, they couldn't find them. And so then I said, go around this other block, go around this other block. And you know, we were looking. Come to find out, they had gone to a neighbor's house and they're no, they're not supposed to. It was an elderly woman and she gave them candy, which I don't think I would have been too upset about, but then they thought I was going to be mad about that, so they snuck off to the school to eat the candy. And they found a door that was open to the school, they snuck into the school, and they stole a bunch of candy that they found. And so I, oh, I was furious. I brought them into my room, and I planned on just like really letting them have it. And then I remembered that I literally did the exact same thing with my friends. I was in the sixth grade. We snuck into the school and we found, like we got into the cafeteria and we like stole a whole bunch of fruit snacks. No, they were fruit roll-ups. There are so many things that I got away with. I snuck into a school bus one time and turned it on, me and Bo. I think my parents knew, but I think they pretended didn't know so they didn't have to like deal with it I'm not sure how I'm going to handle the situation I'm not sure I like I literally just don't even know like I don't even have answers right now I'll come up with an answer I'll figure out what's gonna work best for me my hand is like shaking trying to hold the camera because I'm like just so infuriated and disappointed but then the other side of my brain is like well Bonnie they're just doing what kids do but obviously you can't let them get away with that because then child behavior turns into like older kids acting like children because it was never corrected. So I'm just like, I don't really know what to do or how to handle it. It feels weird not to have a conclusion. It feels like I can't close the vlog until I have a conclusion. I'm back and I have a conclusion. <laughs> I couldn't leave this without a conclusion. I just brought my boys in and just looking at their faces, it's like I could see my dad right in Lincoln's face. I could see myself right in Boston's face. And Boston was really sad. And he just said, Mom, I'm infinity sorry. <laughs> I just said, Boston, I am not going to yell at you. I am not going to take anything away. You know what you did was wrong. And as you get older, I want you to make better choices. I said, will you make better choices? And with huge tears in his eyes, he shook his head yes. And I said, what did I say? <laughs> I said, will you make more mistakes? And he just got a super disappointed look on his face and said yes. And I said, and that's okay because we'll work through them when they happen, but I want you to make the best choices that you can and be the best boy that you can. And that is not how I usually resolve things. They need to be yelled at. They need to be in trouble. They need things taken away. They need opportunities taken away so that they know that there's consequences to their actions. But as a parent, you have to be really in tune with how and when those points are. And this just wasn't one of them. And maybe that was a huge weight of guilt on my shoulders for breaking into a school, breaking into a school bus, stealing. And I figure if I can turn out, he can turn out. I have no doubt that my kids will turn out they will all make mistakes. I still make mistakes. And that's what I tell my kids. Mom and do mom and dad still make mistakes? Heck yes, they do. Yes, parents, moms and dads, they still make mistakes. Do grandma and grandpas make mistakes? Yeah, they do. And it never ends. It never ends. And that's okay. That's what we we learn until we die. And then we continue to learn after that. <laughs> so, okay, now I'm officially done. Love you guys. Just realized why my hand was shaking so bad because I power washed all of the cement and it was hard.